It's going to be right-hander Mitch Spence on the bump for the green and gold. Chris, this is going to be his second start of the season, and we have seen him multiple times up until this point out of the bullpen in that long relief roll. Charlie Blackman ready to roll for the Rockies. There's a solid shot to right field and a base hit for Charlie Blackman. Fielded quickly by Nevin, sending it back in, but Charlie starts the night with a base hit to right. Ezekiel Tovar, who had two homers last night. But he'll swing and miss there. A strikeout on the slider against Tovar, and that's the first out for Mitch Spence. Here comes Ryan McMahon, two and two. McMahon check swing, he did go around. Back to back strikeouts for Mitch Spence. And two are down. Two outs for Elias Diaz. Elias had three singles last night. Elias sends this in the air to deep left center field. Going to the wall is Blade, and it's gone. Just got over the barrier at the 388 marker. Touch him all time, Elias Diaz. And like last night, the Rockies get a two-run homer in the top of the first. Yeah, three hits last night, all singles. This time, a power shot to left center field. So a single and two walks with two outs after the two-run homer. And this is a key moment for Spence and the Athletics. Still able to get out of this right now with just two runs, all things considered. Overhand curve, strike three called inside corner. Maybe a little inside, the A's will take it. We saw the numbers a moment ago for Austin, one and two on the year, but a 3.02 ERA. Got his first W against San Diego in his last start. And he induces a pop up right side. Brendan Rodgers cruises over. And Toro is retired. Left handed hitting JJ Blade. 2 1 is bounced towards first. It's a fair ball. Chris Bryant's got it. He'll beat Blade to the bag. And that's two down. He gets another right handed batter and Brent Rooker, the left fielder. And Rooker will send it to deep center field. Going back, Brenton Doyle on the track. He'll make the catch to retire the side. 10 pitches for Austin Gomber. Last seven starts. How about the 236 earned run average for Austin Gobber? He had a 1 2 3 first. Here's that 1 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him up the, with a fastball upstairs at 91 miles an hour. Out number two for strikeout tonight for Austin Gomber. Gomber looking for another 1 2 3 inning. 2 2 pitch. She is strike three called. It caught the outside corner. Did the curveball. Another 1 2 3 inning for Gomber and a couple of strikeouts in succession. Chris Bryant, who walked his first time up, is up there with two outs and a runner at first. And Chris will hit that up the middle. It will be through the legs of the shortstop, Schumann, and backing up the play, Blade, and holding at second base is Diaz. Don't know that he has a play, but the ball goes under his gloves. That'll be a base hit for Chris Bryant. Inning continues for the Rockies. So here we go. Two on, two out for Doyle, who walked in the first inning. 67 pitches now for Spence. The pitch. Low and outside ball four. Terrific at bat there for Brenton Doyle. He draws the walk, which loads the bases again for Jordan Beck. That swung on. Pop up to shallow center field. Going out is Schumann coming in. Blade going into a slide. Blade and he makes the catch for the out, and the inning is over. So Blade being in the slide, he gets good concentration by the center fielder. Austin Dumber has been terrific. Oh, and a diving catch by Tovar keeps him just as terrific. He's retired the first 10 A's tonight as Abraham Toro gets robbed on just 30 pitches. And here is J.J. Blade, the center fielder. He's looking for their first base runner. Pitch is swung on a drive to right field. Hit well. Going back is Blackman. He looks up and it is gone. A home run for Blade. It's now 2-1 Rockies. First hit allowed on the night by Austin Gomber is home run number six for J.J. Blade. 2-1 Rockies. Brandon Bielak is second inning of relief behind Mitch Spence. Elias Diaz, two-run homer for the Rockies runs in the first inning. Singled to left is next time up. He's got five hits in the series. 0-1. Is Q to the right side. It's going to be another hit for Diaz. Elias thinking two. Nevin's throw to second is offline. And if he gets the cycle tonight, he's going to earn it because he's a triple shy. And we know Elias is not the fastest guy going. 
but he's three quarters of the way. These are down two to one in the fifth. You don't want to give the run back after getting the long ball from Blade. Front door slider, strike three called, freezes Bryant, and the inning is over. So good two strong innings of relief for Belak, keeping the A's in it. Full count of Blackman, pitch to Charlie. And it's outside ball four. Left on left, Blackman draws the walk. Inning continues, Ezekiel <laughs> Tomar up to the plate. He's been doing this almost all game, putting runners on, but can't get him in. Let's see if Tovar might be able to do that. Fourth center, Blade has a read on it. Gliding toward right center, he'll make the catch, and the inning is over. So, McFarland delivers yet again. Back to back singles with two outs in the seventh inning for the A's. Five hits now for the Athletics on the night. Gomber trying to work out of a jam the pit and hit to right center field the move is the center fielder Doyle and he hauls it in and the A's can't score in the seventh great work again Austin Gomber is Austin Gomber still going seven innings pitched 82 pitches two outs in the eighth two one Rockies Gomber's 1-0 pitch is hit to short good hop for Tovar on the run throws to first and for the third time in his career Eight innings of pitching from Austin Gomber. We go to the ninth. It'll come down to the final three outs. Jalen Beeks looking for his fifth save of the year. So the A's with some late traffic. Two on with two out for Geloff, and now a base hit through the infield potentially ties the game. Stroke to the right center. It's a base hit. Ruiz are out third. It's a tie game. He'll score sliding. And Zach Geloff delivers an RBI single. Beeks, it's a 2-2 tie. 2-2 on to the 10th. Still on the mound is Lucas Urseg, the right-hander. Two outs. And Brenton Doyle will try to knock in this run, keep this inning going for the Rockies. Ground ball. Oh, stabbed. Barehanded play by Urseg. Wow. What a play. Not highly recommended, but he made the play. 1-3 on the put out. And the dugout for the A's going crazy right now. Austin Adams. Astounds. Striking out the side. Rockies three hitters all strike out. A's three hitters all strike out here in the 11th. We go to the 12th. And the right man for the job's coming up. The Rockies steadiest hitter all year long, Ryan McMahon. Hit well to right field. Going back is Nevin to the track, and it's gone. Towering shot hit by Ryan McMahon to right field, and the Rockies have taken in the top of the 12th inning a 4 2 lead. So a 5 4 3 double play McMahon to Rogers to Bryant. The run does score, making it 4 to 3, but there are two outs. Matt Cook looking for his second major league save. That swung on and popped up to right field. Coming up for it, Cave to make the catch, and the Rockies hold on to defeat the A's 4 to 3.